Hi, my name is Chien and welcome to the Umbraco Ed Cloud. So here in this video today, I will guide you how to work with the multiple languages on the cloud. And basically in the Umbraco Ed, we, we, are, we have another term to call multiple languages, a language variants. And in this, in this video today, I will show you how to work with it. Okay, okay. so now let's get started. And here, I will open the setting and languages. Okay, here I have two. Yeah, so by default we have only one English. And now I will go ahead to add new language here. Yes, I will select my mother language in Vietnamese. I will, and here we have two options for setting either for default language. That means we are going to set this language in default one for for our side. And here the last the next one we have mandatory language. That means we have to we have to enter the content for this for this language first. And after that we can uh, uh, we have to enter the content for this language first in order to publish the item. Okay. So here because this is the second language, so I will have it by default for now. And the next one is phone back language. Yeah. So here for anything for some issue I will roll back to I will phone back to the link. Okay. And here after if you need the configuration for a new language this for new language, click on save button. Okay, here. The new language in Vietnam has been added. Okay. The next one I come to the document type. Here. So here I will select the home page. Okay, go to permission and scroll down. Yeah, we have here, you can see here we have an option to allow varying by culture. Yeah. Okay, that means we are allow editor to create content for this type in different languages. Okay, save it. Okay, cool. Go to the design tab. Okay. So here you can see on, on the right hand, we have some setting, some setting for 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 each component here. Click on this one. Scroll down. Yeah, you can see here we have allow varying by culture option. Turn it on. Set it. Submit. Yeah. So here after we submit the 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 the, the configuration, you can see in the in the component here, we have allow varying by culture option. Okay, do the same thing for another one. Back option. Go to action. Content. Oh, we have a lot of things on the home page. Decryption. Okay, so for, her, for the design, I will have it by default. We will be using the shared content. Okay, save it. Okay, 
So now here I back to the content in the menu. I select the home page. Yeah. So here you can see on the left menu. In the left menu we have we have a drop down here. Is we have English and Vietnamese option. Oh, we have some issue here. Okay, let me. Okay, we have also here the title of this page. We have another drop down, English and Vietnamese. Yeah. So here, this one is two variant of the language. If if you have if you have a work if you have a working with or another CMS like Sidecar, yeah. So it the new version the new version of Amarco it 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 look like the same thing. Uh, uh, versioning versioning in Sidecar. Yeah. When we have any version is published, that it will display the status is published. That otherwise, if any version of language is not is not created, so it will display the message is not created here. Okay, good. So here you can change it to Vietnamese. Select this one. Yeah. And any control uh, any item which allows the uh, adding new adding new data for uh, adding, adding new content for the new language will be enabled here for you to edit. Yeah, you can see in the design, I don't allow to, uh, I don't allow to add new content, so it will be read only here. Okay, cool. So now here, if you select this one and hover to the to the to another language, here you can see open in split view. Click on this one here. So now here it will open bot lang bot language for you to easy to, to easy translate uh, translate the content to another language. Okay, header. Um, go it. Uh. Cho mọi người. Okay, and the last one I will enter the content and, and description for for this one in the Vietnamese. So here I'm trying to enter another Vietnamese text here, not translate this one to Vietnamese. Okay. Footer. Xin chào ông Braco. Hello, ông Braco. Okay. Okay. So now here I will click on set and publish button here. Validation error. Okay, enter the name. Thank you. Okay. So here, what language would you like to publish? And here, because I have just entered the new content for Vietnamese, so by default it will select the Vietnamese. Okay. And no need to select the content for English because it is already published. Click on Save and Publish button. Validation fail for language only. Let me check what happened with this one. Value cannot be empty. Okay. Mm. For this one, example, block is going to block. Okay, add to block the same thing. For this one, is product. Okay, it seems fine. Again and again. Yeah. So here the content for Vietnamese has been published and visible on the website. Okay, cool. 
I will close this one and here I will change to a link okay info click on this one to open the Here. So here you can see this one in the home page in the elect. Okay. Okay here. So now I will change it to the Vietnamese for viewing the new the new content. Okay. Hang on. Okay. So here change to the Vietnamese and the info. If we have no item to publish. Now, okay, and here I will refresh this one. Try to info again. Okay, still don't have. Okay, back to the English. English. Click on this one and do something else. C cultural and host name. Any domain. Okay, so for the English, I've been using. Use this one. Any domain. VN for Vietnam. Save. I copy this. Save it again. Close. Refresh. Open this in browser. Yes, here. You can see here the new the new uh, website. Language in Vietnamese would be this way content here. Okay, the title, the description, the call to action, footer. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have a new link here. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do the setting to work with your multiple languages in the Amlaco 8 on cloud. Basically, we can code it in the languages variants instead of the multiple language. Okay. Thank you for watching and bye bye. See you later.